Hi everyone, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. My name is Phoebe and on Phoebe Way, it's all about life in Germany, settled in Germany, legal topics in Germany, social issues in Germany, traveling within around to Germany. I'm your plug, I'm your girl. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. Today's video is about things I do not like about Germany, things I hate about Germany. This video is a bit hard for me because I am naturally a positive person. I do not dwell on negative things and I just work my way around the negative things. But when I did the video about 12 things I love about Germany and my German culture shocks and I talked about things I like in Germany, some of you guys asked me to do a video on what I do not like about Germany. So here we go. Number one. Number one is the weather, just the climate. You know, especially in the winter times, when, when summer is leaving, I get so sad. Where you have to scrape the ice off your windscreen, where you have to be careful where you walk or she could fall. Listen, I've fallen so many times, I'm tired of falling. And another thing is because of the climate here, some of my favorite things, like the exotic fruits I'm used to, mango, avocado, pineapple, coconut, they are not here and even if they come they are not the same they act out of character the mangoes are either not ripe or not sweet or not tasty they are just sour like i don't know who offended them they just don't have the correct taste okay that is the thing they don't have the correct taste and then sometimes you cut them up and it's just brown it's just rotten inside like i don't know it's really, it's like a matter of luck. If you're lucky, it works. If you're not lucky, it does not work. That's it. Number two would be that the shops are closed on Sundays. Um, I have, I have to get used to it, but like, for example, today is Saturday, right? I have to ask myself, do I have everything for tomorrow? Do I have to get something for tomorrow? But after a while, you get used to it that, hey, latest by Saturday night, you have to get your things done. Number three would be in as much as I love things being done in an orderly fashion, I think that sometimes this paperwork thing, this bureaucracy and all of this could be toned down a bit and how things have to take a long process before like, come on, come on, you do this every day. Why do we have to wait for six weeks for something that you always do? <sighs> that's, that's also really gets on my nerves. Bring this, bring that. Number four is the education system. You'd ask why the German education system is good, but one thing I hate about it is that kids are separated after fourth grade. So when you go to class five, you have to go to either the Hauptschule or Realschule, or now they call it Beck Realschule. That's it's no more Hauptschule, Beck Realschule or Gymnasium. Now Gymnasium is the school that right after you finish and you pass the um, the exam, the abitur, you're going to the university. When you go to Real Schule, you cannot go to university right after you finish your final exam, but you have to do another extra two years and then you do that's like Fach, um, I think it's called Fach Abi, right? But you're just, you just um, do the Abi after Real Schule Abschluss and then you go to, you can go to university. When you do the Werk Real Schule or Hauptschule, you have to learn, you, you can either learn a trade or you have to then do all these years. Before, but I think that why in the fourth grade that's kids are like nine or ten most of them are still playful I know kids who are not serious at that age they are just you know finding themselves some kids would love to be cooking at 10 but once they turn 15 they'll, they'll find their true passion so I think well it's also part of the German thinking you know you you have to be hard with Germans hard work is part of of the culture so even as a child it's instilled in you by the time you are in the fourth grade you should know where you're going and those grades determine where you'll be going in future so that that is one thing that i wish could be different yeah i wish it could be different another thing that i i've noticed in germany is that once you wear makeup and you dress up it's two reactions you get 10% of the time you, you meet another lady who also like loves who also loves fashion will tell you I love the color of your lipstick, you are looking amazing, I like this, I like these shoes, I like this. But other ladies will look at you like, they will be like, is she serious? When did she have the time for that? They don't even want to take you seriously because obviously if you have time to 
be playing dress up you don't have time to be you know smart or something that's the impression i had even throughout high school and here it's easy to be plain jean like plain jean is the norm <laughs> it's like jeans a t-shirt sneakers jeans t-shirt sneakers jeans t-shirt sneakers and hardly will you see people dressed up for an occasion and here people are more comfortable they would rather be comfortable than um dress up in heels and stuff like that so if you are someone who likes to dress up you find out that most of the time you will be overdressed in in the setting and if you're fine with that it's cool better overdressed than underdressed so one thing i don't like is the smoke culture where i come from i come from ghana um smoking is not like you you had smoking is not a public thing people smoke like in the in the bars where they can smoke yes like smoking cigarettes i mean so there are bars where people would sit there and smoke their cigarettes or in their homes but here people are smoking on the streets you see cigarette stubs everywhere so on so oh especially when it's when it rains it gets it gets it gets it gets i hate i hate cigarettes basically the smell and you know one thing is <laughs> when somebody is smoking and they put the cigarettes box down I see the box, I see the ad, like the warning of cancer or they'll tell you it reduces your potency or whatever and I get so, I, I get so turned off by the advertisement, like by the warning and the people smoking don't even care, like I don't know what, I don't know what kind of strong hearts they've developed for the warning on the box, I, I don't know, I don't know but cigarettes culture here is or smoking culture here is, is quite big and unfortunately you see younger people people buying cigarettes with other people's ids at the machines and stuff yeah i, I don't like the smoking culture but one, one thing is that germany is not multicultural enough the fact that there are so many nationalities represented here you think that we would have like this big multicultural society and have all the communities represented and evidently visible like let them be um the communities representing themselves like sometimes we have carnival de couture or the fest de couture or summer fest where you see or i think it's called summer fest de couture in stuttgart so i think that's the name where you see other cultures and they would um they would present something they would they would play songs and stuff but that's where it ends after that you don't see any other thing and for you to actually find a community from your country you have to actually search 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 and know someone before they can introduce you and it's 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 just tedious tedious and if you don't go to an african if you even want to find an african church it's also another struggle so if you don't know anyone before coming you could be actually you could be lost but free tip um look for the expert group on facebook by um According to your city, so there's expert, experts, experts in Stuttgart, experts in Munich, experts in Frankfurt. Look for those groups, and also you find Ghanaians in Germany, Nigerians in Germany. Look for those groups on Facebook. African mom, African mummies in Deutschland, like African moms in Deutschland. It's a great group, huge group for African moms in Germany, and all of that. And it's you don't really have to be a mom, just be a lady and do I, I do this African network in Deutschland as well. Be visible, but it's not like that. I hardly see join these groups and um, connect with other people from your part of the world. Ha! I think number six. I think this is number six. I'm reading off from my phone, so that's why I keep looking down. Number six. Rude service slash no service. I don't know who offended these service people. I don't know. You go to the city council. You you asking you asking for something. You asking questions like you are not welcome. You're, you're disturbing their peace. Sis. <laughs> Only place I had one pleasant person at the city council was in Bemfling. And the lady was so nice. She was so, so warm, so nice. She listened to my questions. She answered them. She said, oh, don't worry about that. In your case, you don't need that. I'll recommend this. This, this is how you expect it. Go to a grocery store. Be like, oh, um, excuse me. Um, can you please tell me where this and this is? Or next again, then right. Mister, the right side to sign. 
sis. In some shops, they would actually walk with you to the place and check and say, oh, this is what we have. And the cashiers are another issue. Hardly would they um, say hello. Some of them would say hello. Some of them would. Today, I went to a store. I don't even want to mention their name. I went to the store. I went to get something. I said, good and arm. She did not reply. She did not respond. And she basically scanned the item. And I realized she did not even want to talk today at all. And I also waited. It was like 4 euro 50. No 4 euro 50, please. Just 4 euro 50. Man kann auch höflich sein. 4 euro 50, bitte. So, so geht's, so geht's richtig. And sometimes you wouldn't get a smile. They're just schroff. That's the thing. Schroff. Rude. You know? abrasive i don't know why i don't know what offended them i had gotten used to it but then i went to the uk to visit my friend and we would go out to buy something we at the ice cream van the ice cream man was so nice he was asking what would you like to have love have a nice day how are you and the cashiers are also polite like even if they wouldn't smile they are polite in the way they speak to people and in Germany, you wouldn't get the smile. That, how are you doing, love? That, when love, you get it where here. No, forget it. So, and then even like the, these telcos, right? The telecommunication companies, their people are even the worst sometimes. Like, you call and then when you ask them questions, you know what they do? They mute you. <laughs> they put you on mute so they don't hear you anymore. So you keep saying hello, hello. Hello, hello. You, I don't. I, yeah, they they mute themselves too, cause you you can't hear them, or they they pretend they can't hear you, and then you have to basically hang up. And then when you call back, you have to wait and wait and be on the line for how many minutes before they connect you to one worker. So service here is not for the faint-hearted. You have to be strong to face service people. Same with waiters and waitresses. They, they won't smile, they come give you the menus. Make you see And basically, back, 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 back. Be fast about it. And with the rude people to you, you also encounter lots of cold people. But one thing I've noticed is that the, in the beginning I thought they were cold, like the Germans were cold, but I've noticed that the, the longer they get to know you, the longer they, the more often they get to see you, the more they warm up to you. Like, they are just, um, reserved i wouldn't say cold they're just reserved but once they see they see you more often they 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 warm up to you they build meaningful friendships that's one thing but um at first glance at first the first instance you think oh, why are they so cold and this leads to um you as a foreigner here it's it's hard for you to survive because it's hard for you to make connections make contacts with other people so yeah i wish that was different really I wish that was different. I wish that was different because for foreigners it can get sad and lonely real quick and it can take a long time for you to actually understand that. It's, it's just hard to survive as a foreigner. So that's why I said in my first video, even before you come to Germany, get yourself a contact person or join these groups on Facebook so you, have, you know someone before you come else. It, it could get quite difficult growing up in germany there's one thing i've hated we are always party to the party no i'm not talking about germans being punctual i'm talking about release dates so a movie would come out in america right germany will get it months later i understand it's because of subtitles i understand it's because of lenses i understand it's because they are checking the movie but can't you do all that before they release it don't we matter like, do we have to wait almost a year for us to see a movie that the world of America has seen and actually on the next movie um, wave and we are just now we're like, yay, now we can watch this movie. Why? Why are we offended? And now thanks to things being digitalized, it's a bit better. But Netflix be getting on my nerves. Like, lots of movies, especially African movies, are available on Netflix in Germany much later, way later than in other countries. So I remember this movie, The Perfect Picture, 10 years later, right? Everybody, all of my friends, everybody and their grandma was watching it and enjoying it. My friends in the UK were watching and they'll be posting on stuff. I'm like, I'll call my TV, search on Netflix. 
Niente, nada, nates. Nates, nothing. I would I didn't find the movie till like two or three weeks later. Then they, they had the audacity to recommend it to me after they were late. What should I do? Watch, I watched it, Sha. But what should I do? Who? Oh. Just make sure that we are on the same wavelength. It was like back in the days, it was with music as well. Like Jay Z's album would be in America like <laughs> weeks, and then like a week or two later, be in Germany. I don't know. That was those. That was like the CD times, right? But now, uh, thanks to these Apple Music and all of that, we get the same release date for the music. But with the movies, what is happening? What was good? Was passiert? Um, some some things so hinten dran. Why? Why? Who did we offend? One thing I cannot leave out is xenophobia and racism. I can I just cannot leave it out because it is real. Okay. Um. You have to question every unpleasant reaction, every unpleasant account encounter, whether it was because um, of the color of your skin, why did this happen, why did this person say that, why they're reacting like that, is it because I'm dark skinned or what? I'm tired of, of this cycle and I wish it would stop. I really wish it would stop. But yeah, here we are. I've come to the end of this week's video. Um, in 2021, I'm going to be doing a video once a week simply because I have a lot on my plate. After I drew my vision board, I knew that I had to divide my energy accordingly. So therefore, I'm going to be doing just one video on Sunday. So make sure that you support me on Sundays, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for your support so far. Take good care of yourselves. Pass good of voice out. Wir sehen uns am nächsten Sonntag, wie jeden Sonntag in 2021. Wir sehen uns am Sonntag, die next Sunday. Stay healthy, bleibt gesund, stay hopeful, bleibt zuversichtlich. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.